This is the Gap Georgia Outdoors. Today we are doing a first for the channel. We're going to be doing some quail hunting. My buddy Austin booked a trip for our dads. Now our dads have been hunting together for years. His dad, my dad, and Mr. Russ, which is another uh, family friend. And uh, we're headed down to Pembroke to the Flatwood Plantation to hunt with Thomas Floyd. They have a beautiful farm and he really did a good job of orchestrating the dogs, the hunters, and put those guys on some birds today. You're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video because my brother fries these things up and they were, um, I've had quail a few times, but this is possibly some of the best quail we've ever had. So you're gonna wanna stick to the end of the video to see that. I'm gonna use this opportunity to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're really close to our goal. We didn't quite make it for the year, but there's a few days left. So uh, if you would hit that subscribe button. Um, in fact, in the next day or two, we're gonna be fishing with Dan from Low Country Fishing Channel. Um, and we're gonna be off the coast of Savannah. So you don't wanna miss that. So it's gonna be out a few days after this video, but you definitely wanna hit that subscribe button because it helps us out a lot. But uh, right now we're gonna send you to uh, the Flatwood Plantation in Pembroke and we're gonna see these old guys shooting some quail. Everybody else is gonna stay with me. All right, now the dogs with me. We ready here? Whoa! Get that bird up, King. There he is. There he goes. Right there. Bird. Woo! Hey, here, dogs. Let him check it more. Hunt close, King. All right, let's step up to the edge of the power line, King. Easy. I believe we went over on that one right there. Hey, hunt near close here. Get up, bird up, King. Oh, let him come back. King, remember that dog's a little higher than we are. Whoa. Right there. Get up, bird up, King. There he is. Whoa. Oh, there you go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that one played us. <laughs> oh, get up, bird up, King. Whoa, eh? Hey. Run. King, and you're close. There he goes. Uh, well, they're 0 for 8, I think. <laughs> Somewhere around there. It's it's de we're definitely not here to teach anybody how to shoot. It was it was pretty cool bringing our dads out here, but the problem is I think we might have waited a few too many years. I think we should have done this 10, 15 years ago when yeah. they were still in the prime. When but, their eyes were better. Yeah. That that wasn't even aiming at the bird a minute ago, and he just fired one off. So. They're having a good time. There he goes. There we go. There we go. Come on here, Ace. Hunting here with me. As you can see, the uh, the old guy started out a little bit rusty. It took him a, a minute to get used to those birds fluttering, trying to get on target. But after a while, they started hitting them. They find him right, right there. There he goes. Coming over here. Come on up, Mr. Lee. Let's get right here close. King. All right, we ready here? Get that bird up, King. There he goes. There you go. There yeah. You go. <laughs> yeah. Those are the easy ones when they're flying away from you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're flying yeah. over, yeah. over you guys. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, the last one. Whoa. Whoa. He's coming up right here. Whoa. All right, we'll see your other dog right there. If that bird cuts between us, just let him go. Get that bird up, King. There he goes, Mr. Lee. King here, no bird. <laughs> Come on, your ace. He's gonna get him up again. Oh, oh King, well, I got him here. All right, King's coming back through. Be ready. Get that bird up, King. Get that bird up. There he goes. Good shot, yeah, yeah, we're warming up. Let him come back and check it again. Easy, boys. <laughs> there we go. All right, now we. Oh, another bird there. Watch the dog. Good shot, bud. has got a bird. 
Let him check it one more time. King, bring me that. We got stuff to do. Hey, I gotta go hunting in here. Bud, oh. bring me that. All right, remember the dog's behind us, everybody's behind. Get that bird up, King. There he goes. <laughs> King here! <laughs> <laughs> Anybody count now? <laughs> oh, easy boy. Hey, King! King, come here to me, no bird! Whoa, alright, there he is. <laughs> King, easy! Get that bird up, King. There he goes, right there. Oh, he's about to get up again. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, let's come on up. Whoa! Whoa, get that bird up, King. Ready to make it a loop. There he goes. Right there. Good shot. Good shot. Hey. That was tricky. <laughs> Bring me that. Whoa. Get right on top of the dog. Get a bird up, King. That far. King, come hunting here close. It was amazing seeing Thomas work these dogs. Um, he had to orchestrate all the dogs, the pointer dog, the flush dog, and three hunters and make sure everybody was positioned and safe. And he did a wonderful job. They did a, they killed plenty of birds and it was just a, uh, a good hunt. Easy. Come on up. Whoa, get right on top of the left. Whoa. All right, everybody's behind us. Get up, Bird King. Hey, we're watching you, yeah. Get that bird up, King. There he goes. There you go. <laughs> that first one hit him pretty good. That second one done it. Bring it here, boys. Dead bird. Oh, yeah. King has the smell, all right? Being ready. He's in there tight. Get that bird up, King. There he goes. <laughs> hey, you five foot. How did that bird stand there and watch all that and we never got to see him? I just believe we can get right there. Whoa, King. All right, we ready here? Get that bird up, King. There he goes. There you go. <laughs> just one for good measure. Dead bird. Get that bird up, King. Get him up, King. There he goes. There you go! <laughs> yeah! I got him! <laughs> Get that bird up straight. You got it there. Alright, watching the dog. Get that bird up straight. There he goes. Oh no! Oh no! Here, hey, Katie! Brian, I did one of your stuff. <laughs> you know those guns work better when they're loaded? Oh. Hey, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> a pretty bird. Good job, fellas. At the end of the hunt, they knocked down about 38 quail and a few pheasant to go along with it, and it was just a, a great day. It was fun watching those guys be kids again and shooting birds, and they had a really good time. Thomas did a wonderful job, and when we got done hunting, we went back to the uh, pond house, and his wife had us a full spread dinner 
ready to go for lunch and uh, they already had birds cleaned, wrapped, frozen to send home with us. So it was just a, uh, you really couldn't ask for a better hunt. If you're in the market for a quail hunt, go check out Flatwoods Plantation. They do quail hunts, they do tower shoots with pheasants. Uh, they have a lot going on and it's a top notch place. From the moment we got there to the moment we left, everything was very professional. We didn't clean the quail in this video, but I'm sure you can find a YouTube video somewhere on how to clean a quail. But quail is can be cooked many ways, but it is made for frying. And my brother is the king of frying. So we went over to his house and the audio was a little little messed up because there's so many people in the house, but he fried it, he battered it up just like he does his chicken, deep fried it, and it turned out excellent. Whatever your beverage of choice is, whether it be Frank's Red Hot or classic Texas Pete. And as you can tell, they were a hit. That is cooked in perfection. You won't go into any gas station in South Georgia and grab a chicken breast that's anywhere better than that. It's actually really good. I enjoy it. White, delicious. And it is battered very well. I'll have to give him that. I know if y'all didn't understand what he was saying, it's it battered very well. I'm Now, I just need more. The quail hunting was good, and the quail eating was probably even a little better. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we just enjoy being in the outdoors. If you're in the market for a quail hunt, check out Flatwood Plantation. Check out Thomas and his wife, Tara. They did such an awesome job, and I'll definitely be going back there in the future. But uh, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. And until the next one, this has been the unofficial, no doubt, incomplete guide, George Outdoors.